guys, welcome to my gaming channel. This video is all about Ava Media's brand new capture cards and the capture 4K. This is something I've been asking them about for months and months and months on Facebook. And um, they must, must have got sick of me because every time I asked, they did not deliver. They gave us cards like this one, the LGX2 and the Live Gamer Portable 2 Plus, which both feature 4K um, pass through, but not 4K capture. So I went out recently and I bought the Magewell 4K captured dongle, which cost me altogether over £445, which I wasn't too pleased about, but I had to have a 4K captured device. Now, let's show you the, before I go into detail about the two cards, you can see there's a USB version and there's the internal PCE version. I think this PCE version is basically designed to compete with the Elgato 4K60. And it's the one advantage it has, of what both of them have, is 4K and it's HDR as well. But this one on the left does 30 FPS, as I knew it would. And this one on the right does 60 and more. So let's have a look at the promo. There we go, two brand new capture cars there look quite uh, quite good. Let's go down the page. Here we go, here's more detail on the, the products. Now it says here for pros and aspiring pros, Ava Media's intermediate capture card, designed to work well with both laptops and desktop gaming PCs and equipped with onboard video processing to lighten the CPU load. As you can see, we've got pass-through resolution, 2160p, 60 frames a second HDR, but that's that's passed through, it's not recording because the capture resolution is 2160p 30 fps. There's ways around that though in uh, OBS, you can still capture 4K upscale gameplay at 60 frames a second. That is a way of doing it actually. Well, I I do, and uh, you cannot tell the difference between regular 4K recording and upscale 4K because the signal's 4K anyway. You know, so it's easy to just upscale it back again. It's just kind of a workaround, if you, if you know what I mean. Look at that, 1080p 120. So, of course, if you're playing 1080p gaming on your PC and you can get decent frame rates, it'll record 120 frames a second. Now, you can have 150 megabytes a second as your recording quality and up to 240 megabytes a second is possible also. But look at that. $249.99 right so that's less than 200 pound so if they can make a 4k capture card for for that price why is it why does the Magewell and the Epifan cost so much you know what I mean the Avermedia Live Gamer Ultra GC553 now this is the flagship top of the line tech look at the price $300 yeah so that'll be like £240, something like that. Um, but this can uh, capture 21p 60 HDR, 1440p 120 and 1080p 240, you know, 240. So if you're playing on your PC, something like CSGO, you know, because that is, is known for having really high frame rates, you can, it can capture 1080p 240 FPS. You know, I can't wait until somebody gets hold of one of these and really tests it out, you know. But uh, 4KP, 4KP, 60 HDR, high dynamic range capture for brighter whites and darker blacks and a wider colour gamut. Alright, so these are the brand new capture cards from Ava Media. And uh, I'm not interested personally because I've just bought the major one and they cost me a lot of money, you know. I'm quite happy with that. Plus, I should imagine, it should, doesn't mention it here, that this may need a decent PC to run it, just like the Elgato 4K60. But if that is not the case, then this is a winner. This will be a definite winner, you know? It should be, anyway. They can rep 
improve their Record Central software, this capture card will be the ultimate capture card for gamers, I think. You know, put it inside your PC and uh, record HDR gaming, uh, high frame rates, and uh, it, it's not too taxing on your PC. Maybe, maybe that won't be the case. It might have to have, you know, a really decent process, a decent graphics card, a pretty decent PC overall, you know, just like the Elgato. But anyway, I just thought I'd let you guys know about these capture cards and uh, they're coming out on the 25th of June this year. So look out for them. The Live Gamer 4K and Live Gamer Ultra cards are scheduled to ship on June 25th while the Live Gamer Extreme 2, the LGX2, is available today online and at retail. All right. Now you could click here for the website, but if I click at this moment in time, the website's not updated. So it won't be showing any information on these. It'll just show you a question mark. Anyway, I'm Pepper66. I'm really interested in this kind of thing, and I uh, hope this was video. This video helped you. And if you're looking for a new capture card, then save your money till the 25th of June. Right? Later, dudes. Thanks for watching.